If you stand in the heart of a mature banana plantation at harvest time, what you're truly witnessing is a living system reaching its peak of carefully managed biological engineering. Each towering pseudostem represents over nine months of regulated energy transfer, from the underground corm driving nutrient uptake, to a series of elongated leaves collecting sunlight, all leading to this precise moment when the fruit cluster is ready to be cut. You are not just taking fruit from a plant. You are executing a timed procedure that safeguards the plantation's future cycles, the physical stability of the mat, and the quality that determines your position in demanding wholesale and retail markets. This process is neither casual nor repetitive in a simplistic sense. It's a structured series of decisions that, when aligned correctly, protect your profitability, minimize waste, and preserve the health of the soil and mother plants that will sustain the next wave of production. If your livelihood is tied to banana cultivation, this harvest is the ultimate confirmation of whether all your agronomic inputs, pest management, irrigation precision, and canopy control have culminated in a system that performs under real-world, scale-intensive conditions. The fundamental task in harvesting bananas is understanding precisely when physiological maturity occurs. Unlike many fruits that develop sugars on the plant, bananas accumulate starch first, then convert it to sugar off the plant during controlled ripening. This makes the timing of harvest even more critical, because if you cut too soon, the fruit may fail to reach acceptable sugar levels, leading to insipid flavor and a rubbery texture. On the other hand, if you wait too long, you risk excessive weight on the pseudostem, increasing incidence of snapping under wind pressure, or the bunch splitting on the plant, particularly after irregular rainfall patterns that suddenly spike internal moisture. To get it right, you rely on a combination of visual cues and, increasingly, simple field instruments. You look for the shoulders of the banana fingers to become round and full, losing the pronounced angularity they showed earlier in development. That rounding indicates near-complete starch loading. For more advanced operations, a handheld refractometer can assess the soluble solids in a test finger, providing an objective benchmark that complements your visual expertise. Once you're certain the bunch has reached the correct stage, your challenge shifts from biological timing to mechanical execution. Harvesting bananas is not a single-handed job. The sheer weight of a mature bunch often 30 to 50 kilograms depending on the cultivar and growing environment demands a method that minimizes stress on both the fruit and the plant architecture that remains behind. The typical method involves making an initial controlled cut into the pseudostem, roughly a meter above the ground. This notch is deliberate and partial, causing the stem to lean predictably under the weight of the bunch. In larger plantations, workers coordinate so that one person guides the descent of the bunch while another completes the final severance. This protects both the fruit from striking the ground and your workers from injuries that come from sudden, uncontrolled collapses. Such mechanical control not only preserves the individual bananas from bruising, but also prevents torsional damage to the mat that might compromise the development of the next cycle's follower shoots. The handling immediately following the cut is equally exacting. Bananas are particularly vulnerable to compression injuries that might not show externally until the ripening process begins, revealing as brown streaks or collapsed tissue. Therefore, you instruct your crew to carry bunches by gripping the sturdy crown, avoiding pressure on the delicate hands or fingers. Even the containers into which bananas are initially placed in the field commonly well-ventilated crates or padded hooks are chosen to distribute weight and eliminate pressure points that could deform the fruit. Any drop, even from modest heights, can cause internal cellular rupture, leading to downstream quality claims from distributors who detect defects only days later when the fruit colors and softens. Environmental management at the moment of harvest is a variable you continue to control. Harvesting during the cooler hours of the day, typically early morning, minimizes field heat that accelerates fruit respiration. High internal temperatures can dramatically reduce the green life, the critical period during which bananas remain unripe and transportable. If you cut under intense sun, the combination of field heat and mechanical cuts to the pseudostem also risks encouraging bacterial ingress that compromises not just fruit, but the future health of the mat. In wet conditions, you manage the risks differently. Excess moisture on the bunch can increase microbial activity, so you may schedule to allow superficial drying before harvest begins, or you apply fungicidal dips immediately post-harvest to protect high-value shipments. 
video footage showing this entire controlled descent of the bunch, the coordinated teamwork, and the immediate gentle placement of fruit captures exactly what is at stake. Each step is visually precise, with workers often using specialized curved knives that limit tearing. And you see the immediate field grading rejecting any insects or showing signs of premature ripening which could trigger ethylene release that accelerates spoilage in nearby fruit. That selective discipline ensures only uniform, healthy bunches progress to the packing area, preserving the entire lot's storage characteristics. From the field, harvested bunches move to packing sheds where more critical interventions occur. Here, you implement procedures such as dehanding the separation of the large bunch into smaller, market standard hands and the removal of floral remnants that can harbor fungal spores. This is typically done with sanitized blades to avoid cross infestation. Foot baths and tool dips with approved sanitizers at each workstation become non negotiable policies in serious operations. The water used in washing the hands is kept at slightly warmer temperatures than the fruit itself, a subtle but vital measure to avoid drawing water into the bananas through osmotic pull, which can cause splitting or microbial ingress. Throughout this entire harvest chain, from the moment of cutting to the final packaging, what you are truly managing is the fruit's delicate physiological balance. Respiring, subtly shifting starch to sugar. Any mishandling, whether mechanical, thermal, or microbial can tip this balance prematurely, shortening shelf life and reducing your market flexibility. That is why every stage is designed to slow these metabolic processes without compromising the fruit's ability to complete ripening under controlled conditions once it reaches the final market destination. In these scenes teams moving systematically through well-managed rows, careful sectional cuts in pseudostems, precision lifting of heavy bunches onto cushioned carriers, and discipline sorting under shaded structures you see the modern banana harvest for what it is, an orchestrated operation that protects biological investments built up over months. This is where your expertise and disciplined protocols translate directly into commercial reliability, customer trust, and sustained farm profitability.